Hello and uh, welcome to another video. Uh, this one is uh, more like an addendum to uh, the previous video that I did last week or the video that I did last week uh, on death markers. Um, a few people in the comments uh, of those videos asked if uh, you could uh, add your own death markers and indeed uh, you can and this video will show you how to do that. Uh, so let's open up uh, the death markers. And uh, we've got this set to uh, blood uh, red here by default. Nothing else. I've cleaned out everything else. We'll go to modify markers. And down at the bottom here, we will see uh, two buttons, the usual edit list button and the add item button. If we go to edit list, this will allow you to uh, delete any of the existing markers or even delete uh, sets this doesn't delete them entirely from your computer you will still be able to access them through assets images um, but it will uh, delete them from the sets or from uh, your uh, campaigns but we don't really want to delete things we want to add things so let's uh, click on the add item button and this uh, window at the top pops up, showing you to drop assets here and uh, to give it a name. Um, so I've created a, a very simple marker here uh, in Photoshop, showing off my phenomenal Photoshop skills, just a, a white square uh, with uh, dead written on it. And it's got uh, no background, so we've just got this white square in the middle and the background is uh, clear. And we're going to save this out as a PNG file and i have saved that into the uh, images folder uh, in fantasy grounds in your fantasy grounds fg uh, sort of data folder so we've got smite works fantasy grounds images and here's my uh, png file i've saved that out at uh, 256 pixels you can go a bit larger than that if you want but 256 is probably uh, fine uh, so we can find our image now in assets, go to assets and then data um, and here's our image and we're just going to drag that, whoops, uh, we're just going to drag that and drop it into uh, our uh, little window here. Uh, and then uh, we're going to give it a name, so let's give it a name, uh, dead as a doornail for fun. Um, and then we can tint this up. Um, so the image here, as I say, is largely white, which is what we want, because the white bits are the bits that will uh, get uh, tinted. Um, so if we, uh, where did our image go? It, it leapt to the bottom here. Um, if we uh, go through our colors, we can see that the white bits of the image is uh, being colored. So let's uh, stop there. Um, and so we've we've now got our image and we've 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 tinted it to our liking. So now we've got to set this as our default. If we go to our default here um, and we find that our dead as a door nail group um, is is uh, available from the drop down. So we're going to select that and then we can test this out. So let's get a map up and let's get uh, the combat tracker. Uh, Bob has got himself into trouble with some uh, ash zombies here, so he's uh, just going to uh, take a whack at a few of them uh, and uh, finish them all off because they've only got the one hit point. Uh, and when we uh, delete them from the combat tracker, we get our uh, dead marker uh, from there. So that's how you would uh, create your own. Now you can uh, use any images you like. Uh, in here, you don't. You're not restricted to images you create. You could you could put in images here uh, from uh, anywhere. Uh, I mean, for example, if you go to the uh, monster manual, um, you could uh, pick up uh, any of the images uh, out of the monster manual uh, and add them in if you wanted to. Uh, any kind of image uh, that's got a uh, white. Uh, I think, well, this one would actually be uh, absolutely ideal, the, the first one that we, we misclicked here. So the Bone Naga, or Naga, for example, would be uh, quite an interesting one because it's largely uh, white. So if you wanted to use that, or the Bone Devil, or any of them really, but obviously the more white that there is in the image, that's the, the bit that gets tinted is the white part. So anything that's deeply colored, like this Archmage here, for example, uh, probably isn't going to work just as well. 
So if you wanted uh, the bone nagger, then uh, just uh, drag it into your uh, window here, uh, the bone devil, we could drag that in. Um, and uh, Fantasy Grounds will randomly select one of these uh, when the uh, character or the NPC is removed from the combat tracker. Um, okay, so that's how you would add in your uh, own images. Uh, hopefully that's been helpful and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers for now.